Hello friends, today we're doing a different kind of Dollar Tree DIY. We're going to be doing a Dollar Tree Toilet Plunger Christmas Mailbox Poll. And this is going to be dedicated to my dear friend Lydia. Girl, here you go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take this rubber part of the plunger, which is pretty flimsy, and we're going to encase it on the inside with rocks. And you can get these from the Dollar Tree. You can get a big pack of rocks for a dollar. And we're just going to cover the whole inside with rocks to give it some weight and give it some stronger walls because this is pretty flimsy um, rubber. So just arrange the rocks in there and all I did was just pour the glue. I just covered the whole thing with glue. I didn't hold back. I added a couple sticks of glue, but it was it was just enough and it was good. It was perfect. It was it was good enough to hold up my, the pole and the mailbox and all the decor that's on it. So it worked pretty well. So once I got that done, just made sure to let it all dry. And so here I'm taking this little, it's like a fairy castle piece of wood craft kit for the kids. You get it in the toy section and it's made of real wood. So I picked that up, figured it was perfect for my mailbox. And I'm taking the white chalk paint, which I have tons of it. Seems like I'm never going to run out. <laughs> and I'm going to paint the whole thing white. I paint both sides and I did a couple coats just to get really good coverage. Okay, so now here I'm taking this mailbox, which is the cardboard one, and I lost the footage where I had placed the gingham uh, buffalo check ribbon around it. And so what I did was I just put some buffalo check ribbon around the two sides just to make it more decorative. So there's my little mailbox, ready to go. And now here I'm taking the pool noodle and I love that Dollar Tree now has white ones. So that's perfect. So I'm taking my little uh, hand utility knife and I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it in half. So I'm only gonna use a portion of the pool noodle. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I use maybe a foot and a half of it or so. So I think that's a good height. So now I'm going to take some of this black and red buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I like it because it's wired so it sits very well, it's very easy to use. But I'm going to hot glue one end to the bottom of the pool noodle, hold it down with my little spatula because I don't want to burn my fingers and I love these little spatulas, they're made out of silicone. so. You can hold it down by the little silicone portion to hold everything down and you won't burn yourself. And so I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap it kind of like a candy cane stripe and just kind of pull, hold it tight, add a little dab of glue here and there just to help keep everything secure and in place. And so just keep rolling, rolling, rolling until you get to the bottom and just snip off with when you're done and hot glue that in place, secure it well and just press it down again with my little spatula, my little silicone spatula and get that finished, get ready to go 
looking cute. Securing the little ends. Got to get it nice and finished. Don't want anything falling apart on me. But just take your time and get it all nice and secured. Just don't burn your fingers. So a quick backstory on why I'm dedicating this video to my friend Lydia. She recently realized that I have a YouTube channel I had not told many people and she sent me a picture of a toilet plunger Charlie Brown Christmas tree and she laughed and I thought oh my goodness okay I'm gonna dedicate this one to her <laughs> okay so now I'm taking this little wood log that you can get from the Dollar Tree you get it in a bag in the floral department and I'm gonna place it in the hole for the top portion I'll be gluing that little log onto my piece of wood that I painted white so here's my piece of wood nice and flat I like it because it's really flat and my mailbox will sit perfectly on top of it so here I'm going to attach the pole by gluing the little log onto my piece of wood and I'm just going to center it as best I can get it to adhere very well and I'll add more glue on the perimeter of it just to make sure it's well and secured and I'm using the good Gorilla Glue glue sticks so that should hold it very well so I'm just going to add glue, make sure it's nice and glued on there, nice and adhered. And using my little spatula to help spread it correctly. Okay, so here's my toilet plunger all ready to go. So I'm taking some of this garland that you get from the Dollar Tree. And there's 15 feet of it. We're going to toss that on there. And now we're going to get a little wreath, a mini wreath from the Dollar Tree. Toss that on there and now our pole that's nice and ready toss that on there and then here it is I did end up putting a bow buffalo check bow but look how cute it is adorable and who would have thought that underneath all that floral and garland that there's a toilet plunger holding the whole setup who would have thought but look how cute all ready for the grandkids to come over and put their little letters in there for Santa so cute I can't wait for them to see this so adorable <laughs> 